So I said, no, he doesn't shake hands. <laughs> and she said, oh, that's OK. Come on, honey. And she hugged me. <laughs> Very, very funny. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I want to be there watching this man. I don't believe it. How Muslim, Muslim, you know, this guy is supposed to be saying to them, I am a good man. I do not shake hands. We Muslim, and this is what he said in the video, actually. Muslim men are not allowed to shake hands with women. I didn't know what to do. Oh, man. Oh, man. He don't. He's a victim. This Abdul, he do not know what to do. He do not know what to do. Honestly, he is really, he is really a victim now. Like, she is thundering him. <laughs> I never saw hypocrite people as Muslims. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm like, I was in the state of shock. Wow. I'm like this and she's hugging me. And she's like, oh, you're so nice. Uh, and those Muslim girls are, are, are laughing too, you know, Muslim girls like this guy is supposed to be cute. Let us go to business. For those who do not know, Muslims are not allowed to shake hands with women if they are Muslims. But if she is not a Muslim, they are allowed to shake hands and they are allowed to even to have sex with you. Those hypocrites, I never saw people, they are hypocrites like those people. Anyway, uh, we will stay focused on the topic. Do you know that in Islam you cannot shake hands with women? Muslim women, I'm not talking about non-Muslim women now, but you can suck their breast. I'm, I'm not talking about uh, uh, you are a child and your mother is uh, nursing you. No, no, no. I'm not talking you are a child and somebody is nursing you. No. I'm talking about a man in the size of this man. He is, or he should, suckle a boobs of a woman so if he wanna uh, speak to her. Do you believe it? Especially if you want to be alone with her. You want to enter, you know, to, to her position. Let us say she's in a room. And, you know, I, I don't make things up. Uh, it's a fact, and I'm going to prove it in a second. Uh, for sure, you will see the picture in front of you, but you will not see all of it because it's, uh, it's not really uh, uh, good to show those pictures in the internet especially we might have kids watching but uh, i covered the part where i should not show anything but this is a muslim supposedly he is a practicing islam brother and this muslim as she is covering her hair there's nothing shown of her face of her 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 hair because she is a very religious muslim but for sure a muslim man he is allowed to hold her boobs and he suckle them now we will show the proofs and the reference of this. This is not just something we are making in fantasy. This is something Muhammad he ordered to Muslims to do. Let us go and read together. Give you some details, like one by one. In here, in this hadith in the front of us, and this is in Sahih al Bukhari, we will see uh, Aisha speaking about a man he want to enter upon her, uh, which means she want to be alone with him. Uh, but she is saying, and you will see in here something very strong, strange, by the way. Uh, Muslims, they use and they do suckle from men and women, which means a man, a Muslim man, uh, he is allowed to suck your nipples. All right? Uh, and actually, Muhammad himself, he suckled the nipples of men, and I will show you that. Uh, but in here, we will see uh, Aisha, she's saying, that the wife of this man, she's talking about a man who wanna, you know, uh, uh, be with her alone. So she is saying, it is not him who suckled me. Uh, it's not him who suckled me. It was his wife, as we see in this uh, story here. Okay, look what he said. The man has not nursed me, but his wife. How the man will nurse her? Who is who, who is nursing who? You know, I, I'm, I'm not sure. Either she is saying that the man is sucking my boobs, or she is saying I sucked his boobs. Because you know that the English text <clears throat> is kind of confusing, right? The fact in here, it is about uh, either way, either you suck from them or they suck from you. So she is saying that I did not suck this, this man's boobs, and he did not suck my boobs, but, uh, you know, uh, the... I'm sure I'm I'm using the word boobs. It's funny, huh? <laughs> but <laughs> but but his wife she did suckle me. 
Now you tell me how what what's 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 up with this? And look what Muhammad said to her. Oh, he can enter upon you if he if he, he nursed you. Yeah, that's fine because now he is the same as your uncle. Ah, look at this. Uh, he 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 said to her. Admit to him, because he is your uncle, not from blood relation, but because you have nursed by his wife. Ah, okay. <laughs> and the funny Islam is against against adoption. So if my wife, she gave her breast to someone, a woman, she can, I'm her uncle. Okay, come and sit in my in my lap. <laughs> What a logic of those <laughs> crazy religion. Let us continue. Again, this is Sahih al-Bukhari, book number 73, hadith number 177. Let us continue. A woman, her name is Sahla bint Suhail. This is Sahih Muslim. And this is hadith, book number 008, hadith number 3424. In this uh, story in here we see, that a woman, she came to Muhammad and she told him, I have one of my slaves, uh, you know, he is, um, you know, he's a grown up man and he is looking to me in a sexual desire. Mm -hmm. So she is looking for a solution. And look what the solution, Muhammad, unbelievable. He is intelligent. He is intelligent. He told her, oh, okay, he's looking at you in a, in a very uh, horny way. All right. So do this. Suckle him. What? Suckle him, suckle him. What, 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 what? She said, look, the woman, she is like, what? Like, what the heck? She said, how I can suckle him as he is a growing man? Growing up man? <laughs> like, what the heck? Allah Messenger, you know, Allah salute him, smiled, and he said, Already I know, I know. Like, come on, I know he's a growing man. I know the guy. Huh? So, uh, that's it. Suck on him, give him your boobs. And you see Muhammad in here, he is enjoying this. He's making fun of those stupid Arab. And those Arab, they do exactly whatever he say. Now, you know, the, the guy in the video, he was speaking about how they are not allowed to shake hands. You know, they are... Very, you know, but they are allowed to uh, to suckle a woman a breast number one. You have to hold them, right? Don't tell me you put your hands, below, you know. Secondly, you have to put your head in her lap. You are touching her chest, and you are sucking her breast. And I, I never heard that a man, uh, uh, he will stop being horny if he is doing that to a woman. I, I know that the, this is the opposite. This is the opposite for a man and for a woman. A man is sucking the nipples of a woman and uh, that will make them both uh, cool down? Really? But we cannot shake hands? Oh, okay. You see, they are good Muslims. You know, Islam is very, Islam is preventing us from shaking hands. But we uh, suck boobs of women. Uh, strange women boobs. By the way, this is a stranger for her. This guy is not from her family. And not only that, that became a law it is, became a law for the Muslims after that, after this incident, when Muhammad gave a permission. Because remember, when Muhammad he gave an order, that said this is became a, became a law, and everybody have to follow it. So Aisha, after that, she hired her sister Umm Kalthum to sit in the front of her door. You know, she have like an additional room. She is a secretary. Each one she want to enter upon her. He have. Any man he want to do that, he have to suck the boobs of her sister. Now look at who Aisha, she is supposedly doing intelligent thing. You suckle the boobs of my sister, you became like my brother. <laughs> really, you know? Let us read the hadith. This is, uh, uh, this is a hadith. This is a hadith from what? Malik. Malik, all right. Book number... 30, as you see, hadith number 30.1.7. You know, this is a, a translation numbers. In Arabic, they are different. But anyway, we will go with them. And remember, this is Muslim translation, not my word. I, I have nothing to do with it. 
I don't accept any Muslim translation because in Arabic it's a lot more funny, but we will go with it. Uh, Yahya related to me from Malik, etc., etc., uh, that Aisha, Umm al Mu'mineen, Umm mean the mother of the believers in Arabic. And the funny, they translate <clears throat> the whole hadith except Umm al Mu'mineen, and supposed to everybody will know it, Umm al Mu'mineen. Like, well, it's silly Muslims, anyway. Uh, sent him away while he was being nursed to her sister. Huh? Bint Abi Bakr, a Siddiq. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, uh, look one here. And said, said suckle him suckle him 10 times how many times she should suckle him she, she, she should suckle him 10 times and I will show you why 10 times because there was a verse in the Quran speaking about that but the goat ate it suckle him 10 times so that he come uh, uh, to see me so you see in order he can enter upon her this man he have to suckle the breast of Aisha's sister the secretary 10 times but the guy he was suckled three times only. I don't know what happened. I think uh, 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 he maybe he is done. You know what I mean? And uh, he didn't want to continue. He want to come back again to use excuse. Oh, I know. I'm I'm done for now. I will come tomorrow. <laughs> so she she suckled him only three times. This is why he could not enter in that day at Aisha. Isn't it wonderful, ladies and brother? Aisha. You know, Muslim, they are not allowed to show their hair, but they will give you their boobs and you suck them. And this is how you can be lawful to enter upon a woman alone. We continue. Remember the name of the hadith. Remember the number. The same hadith, same, same book, Muat Malik. We will see the hadith in here. Uh, book number 30, hadith number 30.2.12. It says that uh, Aisha, you know, Umm uh, al the mother of the believer, took uh, that as a, pre a pre precedent for, for whatever men she, remember here it says men, huh? so they will not say the Muslims, oh they are kids, you know, uh, you know, you know Muslims, uh, you know them, I know them. Whatever men she wanted to be able to come to her and see her, she ordered her sister Umm Kathum, been to Abu Bakr, the daughter of Abu Bakr, huh? the daughter of uh, <coughs> Of her uh, 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 and, and the daughter of her brother, not only the, the sister, she hired two women. <laughs> the job is hard, man. A lot of men they want to suckle. So she had uh, uh, hired two women, her her sister and her daughter, to give uh, milk. Actually, it does not get what milk to give her boobs when we give milk. And by the way, how women don't have always milk? What do you think? They are like what? They are afraid you open it, you get the milk from there. You know, women they give milk only if they have a child. Uh, to which uh, to to which uh, uh, men uh, she wanted to uh, be able to come and see her, so it was a condition uh, to everybody everybody uh, uh, you know who want to see uh, uh, Aisha, he have to suckle the breast of her sister or her her niece so she can enter into Aisha. This is really amazing. Now we don't have time much left. You know, Sahih Muslim. Hadith uh, book number 008, hadith number 3421. In this hadith it says that the uh, the Holy Quran gave a clear verses about, here we go, it had been revealed in the Holy Quran that 10 clear suckling makes the marriage unlawful, so she became unlawful for you, 10 suckling. And then it was abrogated by the 5 suckling. And you know what? I want to, I want the Muslim to show me where is the 10 suckling verses and where is the 5 suckling verses. I want to see them. That proving to you that Quran is not preserved, Muslims, right? And at the same time, that telling us that Islam is a perverted religion because they say there's no adoption. And here we go, you are adopted a person, became a, like a son for you. By what? By breastfeeding. Uh, so why you are angry from the Hindus when they say uh, the, 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 the cow is our mother? I wonder. Follow with me with more videos. And this is the stupid Islam. And the one who follow it, he have to be dummy. He have no brain. Wake up. It is stupid religion made by a dummy for the dummies. Thank you very much.